Hi, I'm Jason with Kimray, and today we're going to be repairing a 2-inch high-pressure control valve. We'll get started by removing our upper adjustment screw and breather plug. Then you'll remove all of your upper bonnet bolts. and remove the O-ring from your upper adjustment screw. Remove your bonnet, pivot, upper spring plate, spring, and lower spring plate. Next, you'll unthread your diaphragm plate from your upper stem. There are two flats on your upper stem where you can put a wrench to stabilize it while you unthread the diaphragm plate. Now you'll remove your diaphragm and diaphragm plate and loosen your coupling block bolts and remove your coupling block. After that, you'll remove the four bolts from your yoke base and empty all of the oil out of your yoke. Next, you'll remove your upper stem Flip your yoke over and remove your lower adjustment screw. Now you'll remove your snap ring, your retainer, your wiper, your outside o-ring, and your inside o-ring from your lower adjustment screw. Now you'll remove your stuffing box assembly from the body and mount it in a vise. Sometimes the seat will come unthreaded from the cage and stay down inside your body. If that happens, you can use your Kimray seat removal tool to get the seat out. Another scenario could be that your cage comes unthreaded from the stuffing box and stays in the body along with the seat. Just flip your Kimray seat removal tool over, thread it onto the cage, and remove your cage and seat all in one piece. Next, you'll remove the seat from the cage. You'll need to stick a screwdriver through the cage to hold it still while you loosen your seat. Then you can use the screwdriver to loosen the cage and take tension off of your stem. You only need to loosen it a couple of rotations to keep the threads engaged. And then remove your O-ring from your seat. Now you can take your cage all the way off. Now you'll need to remove your spring, follower, and packing. Go ahead and remove the o-ring on the outside of your stuffing box. Next you'll take your stuffing box out of the vise, turn it over, and use a pair of snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. Next you'll remove your retainer and the felt wiper. Next, you'll want to remove your diaphragm nut from your diaphragm plate. To do that, you'll take your custom Kimray wrench, put it on the diaphragm nut, and then mount it in your vise. At this point, you should be ready to install your Kimray repair kit and reassemble the valve. It's a good idea to spread out your repair kit so that you can clearly see everything that's included.